What's up YouTube? Welcome to Jang's Food Workshop. I'm Chin and this is my mum Chu. Yeah, Chu is here. new to the channel we teach you how to do Chinese takeaway food as well as Chinese and Malaysian food as well mum's picking up this book I didn't tell her to do that normally we don't do that now but yes we have a cookbook out which teaches you how to do Chinese takeaway books books Chinese takeaway food at home that's only available on our web store chinandshu.com it's not available anywhere else we also sell merch on there as well as ingredients too so if you'd like to support the channel by all means head over there thank you very much what are we doing today though mum sweet and sour sauce today. Yes, yeah, so we've done sweet and sour sauce in the past, just like the standard version, as we always said, our recipes for the Chinese takeaway are just the most likely version you're gonna get because everywhere is gonna do it slightly different. So here it is. Yeah. I will say though, some of you uh, found our standard version a little bit aromatic. If that is the case, this probably won't be for you because it's even more punchy than that version. Yeah, more flavor. Yeah, so now here we go. Hit the like button, subscribe, see you later. You're on it today, aren't you? Well done. <laughs> I want to turn off the camera and you just right there saying like, do what Mum said. <laughs> okay, so here we have the ingredients to make this best version of sweet sour sauce. We have a whole bulb of garlic crushed there. 50 grams of sliced ginger. Got a, about, I'd say, eight to 10 small fresh lime leaves. Got eight star anise there a whole white onion chopped. This will be sliced bits in orange. Use an orange, don't use anything else. One celery stick, two stalks of lemongrass, teaspoon of cloves, two carrots, five grams of cassisa spark. Again, you can get these cloves, star anise and cassisa spark off our web store. If you can't get that though, cinnamon is a good replacement. We're gonna use 600 milliliters of orange juice, 600 millimeters of mango juice, 500 millilitres of this apple cider vinegar. Any apple cider vinegar would do, but we use this one. 500 grams of sugar. 150 grams of tomato puree. That's what's going to make it red. You can obviously add food colour into this. We might actually add it. We, I don't know if we're going to bother. You're also going to need about two tablespoons of vegetable oil. That's just to fry up some of the spices and release their flavours. Right, so what we're doing now, you don't want this oil too hot. So you want it on a medium heat. We're going to throw in the cassisa bark, your star anise, your cloves, and your ginger. And just let it warm up. Yeah, we just want to get some of those essential oils out of that. So yeah, on a medium heat, you're going to fry this off for about, what, two, three minutes? Yes. So when you start smelling the ginger, it's for the next step. You can't smell the ginger yet. So that's been a... Uh, Cooking off for about two, three minutes. In goes our vinegar, 500 milliliters. Yeah. 600 milliliters of Rubicon mango juice. Rubicon, if you want to give us free stuff, please do. <laughs> uh, Tesco orange juice, same as Tesco. If you want to give us any free Te stuff. Well, Tesco's, if you just want to give us money, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> now, in goes everything else. So your sugar. Yes, there's loads of sugar, but. Sweet and sour. Everything in moderation. You're not. You shouldn't be eating this every day. It's one of those treat things. Orange Oranges, juice. onions, garlic, garlic, lime leaves. Lime leaves. I've bashed up the ends of these. Lemongrass. Lemongrass, and what that will do is that will get a lot more flavour out. Yes. And goes the lemongrass. Lemon your carrots and your celery. Now, do you think we're going to want? Sorry, I jumped ahead then. Then we need your potato starch, to call that. Then you need your uh, tomato, tomato puree. puree. Is that just normal tomato puree? Yeah, just normal yes. tomato puree. We're gonna bring this to boil and simmer. Do you want to add any food coloring into this, Ma? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, nah, we don't think so. It's got plenty of color. It's just a natural looking color. It's good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll bring it to boil. Once so, it boil, you're going to like reduce the heat so the reason why sweet and sour is normally bright red is because they add food coloring which we actually sell on the web store as well 
So if you want this to be bright red, yeah, that's you that's how you achieve it. You can see all those five a day in there. <laughs> Although I don't think this counts as five a day. <laughs> Jokingly, they should say. What? Jokingly. Yeah, what did you five what, a day. What did you say after that? Day she say. Day she say. Yeah. What's that mean? T H E R E. Oh, there. Yeah. Right. Okay. There she says. Yeah. Right, Roger that. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna bring this to the boil and then simmer it for about 45 minutes. Right, so it came up to the boil, now I'm gonna reduce it down and leave it to cook for, like I said, about 45 minutes. So it's been about 45 minutes, now we're gonna take this off the heat. Best to leave it 48 hours if you can. Uh, let all those flavours mature but uh, if not you can use it right now if you want so now I'm just gonna put this on the heat and thicken it and then it'll be ready to use you can see there that on the bottom is potato starch that on the top is water that's the volume you kind of want to use so half and just over half if that makes sense put it into a little container like this and mix it up this is what we've always done at home we never mentioned it before because it just wasn't something we remembered to say but someone the other day said how do we always use it? And I and I walk, I put it in a jar, and then I realised I'd never said it. It's much easier than in a, having to stir it with a, a spoon. And you're just going to add it to its thick. more because I like my sauce thick there we go right so here we have them trying really hard not to spill it spill it yeah so what you see here are cod goujons well in vodka batter and if you want to see a video on how to make those we're, we're quite happy to do that for you just comment below that's what you like to see but I'm desperate to get on and try this yeah shall I hold that that's no, right I'll hold it you yeah. go first oh I've got that one that is cooler now Mmm, that's sort of sour. It's these are so mm. crispy. And if you want to know how to do them, like I said, just comment. It's really, really smooth. Mmm. Sauce. Mm. It's just that battle of that fish. Oh, it's amazing. We'll do this down the weir. Down the weir. Pull up where that's where mum's shop is. That um sweet and sour. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, it's just it's not that because we do it, we say it's amazing. It is amazing. Just go and try it out and tell us how you like your sweet and sour and how, how you're going to serve with it. Sweet and sour go well with fish. It's like with sweet and sour, it can be... And pork, chicken, everything. <laughs> it's really, it's just a smoother sweet and sour, isn't mm. it? Try it and check it out. Yeah, please do. Yeah. Love it. So, don't forget. Subscribe. Hit the like button and comments. Happy cooking, happy eating.